Hey guys, before the video gets underway, it would be much appreciated if you could leave me a like on this video. I took a couple of days in between posting. I went up to the cottage with some friends and had some fun. Um, but the YouTube algorithm is really screwy in the sense that if you're not posting on a consistent basis every day or every other day, they don't really suggest or promote your videos here. So we're going to need to start the train going again because I took those couple of days off. And if you could leave a like, it would really help. Welcome to Downtown Sports, my name is Downtown Stephen Brown, and in today's video, guys, we are going to be comparing a Made in Indonesia authentic Adidas NHL jersey versus the cheaper knockoff ones that you would see on sites like DHK. But before we do that, I do have some jerseys for sale listed on eBay, which I will link in the description of this video. And if we're doing the sale off of eBay, you can message me on Twitter or you can hit me up here and we can negotiate and work something out. Usually if I'm selling something off of eBay, I save the fees, which is about 10% if you're picking up in person, you can save on the shipping as well. And maybe we can negotiate a little bit more on top of that. So I'm sorry for the audio switch here. I am using my iPhone to record this just because it's a little bit easier to kind of maneuver and show you guys the jerseys. And once again, I just like to repeat, I am not gatekeeping anyone's fandom. If all you got is 20 or $30 to spend on something like this, then that's more than okay. Just make sure that you're only spending 20 or $30 and not um, anything more than that. But the first thing that I'm going to point out here, and I'm sure you guys are already noticing differences here, are the laces. The laces to me are an absolute dead giveaway. I can spot them in 0.2 seconds. Don't even have to look at the listings on eBay or Facebook or Kijiji or any of the other secondhand sites. I can spot that from an absolute mile away. The ones on the fake jerseys are long enough to tie them. The ones on the real Indonesia Adidas jersey are not. You could tie these, but it would look really, really stupid. The second thing that I would like to point out before I get to more obvious things here, like the overall look of the jersey, are the size collars. If you're looking at the collars of the jersey, you see how it's almost like a matte black here. It's not shiny at all. When we're looking at the fake jersey here, just look at how much shine and how much gloss is on that thing. You'll be able to spot that from an absolute mile away. Now, the next thing that I want to point out is not necessarily a foul, but it is a minor detail here. If we're looking at the Made in Indonesia real jersey here, you're going to notice a little Adidas button there along the hem, and it's going to be on the fake one as well. And that's perfectly fine. It's in the right place on the fake one. But the one thing that I would like to point out is that these jerseys started being manufactured in the 17-18 season by Adidas. The year prior to that, they were made by Reebok and in the first year of production they had that little button along the hem but in the subsequent years of the years afterwards they removed them so if you're seeing a player um, that didn't play for the team in the 17-18 season or the season afterwards or maybe there's a letter change or a number change or something like that the jersey's not necessarily fake it could have been a blank jersey from the 17-18 season that was customized a year or two afterwards those buttons are very very easy to remove by the way if you're seeing that um, but it's not necessarily a foul but it is something to point out on the fake jerseys so to just to wrap up the front of the jersey here before I turn them both around, if you're looking at the logos, you're going to notice right away that sometimes the real ones, the Made in Indonesia ones, can get a wrinkle or two in them, but not 30 or 40 like we're seeing here on the fake one. So I flipped the two jerseys around, and no, it is not the camera, it is not the lighting. The jerseys do look two different colors. Aside from the color difference, um, the quality of the twill, so if I'm looking at the twill on the Made in Indonesia one, this is a heat press jersey. The ones that are fully stitched on will be a little bit thinner in terms of, of quality, but still in and around the same type of feel. This is very, it's very grainy, like it's very, it's just, it's not as nice overall. And if we're looking at the name there, you could see that, especially like if you're looking at the letter A, just look at the letter A there. And then look at the letter A there and you will not be able to unsee that. And I just like to point it out because I do have one of them here, the St. Pat's jerseys. The St. Pat's jerseys are really easy to tell. These numbers here and the nameplate here are made of a felt or cloth-like material. They are not reflective. Not reflective at all if there's any kind of shine or glimmer or anything coming off of the jerseys, especially in the front of them. Um, it is 100% fake. And I just like to touch on the quality control of the jerseys on DHK, especially the hockey ones. The one that I'm showing you here in this video, that's a best case scenario. That is the absolute best that it's probably going to look. 
I've seen them come out a lot worse. I've seen the Adidas button is above that white stripe. That white stripe, if you're actually looking, is thicker on the fake jersey than it is on the Made in Indonesia authentic jersey. Sometimes that white stripe can be even thicker. Sometimes there can be stains. Sometimes uh, the logo can be even more wrinkly. Sometimes things are misstitched. So this is a best case scenario and they get a lot, lot worse. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, I do have some jerseys for sale on eBay, and I will have the link to that in the description of this video, including the Austin Matthews jersey that I used to compare against the fake Mitch Marner one. I'll also have my Twitter linked in the description of the video. You can message me on there to save between 10 or 15% off of eBay, or even 10 to 15% plus the shipping if you're in the GTA and could pick up the jersey in person. I will also leave the link to the DHgate seller that I purchased this jersey from, but just know I have no affiliation with this person. I have never spoken to them. I do not know them. I am not responsible if you order a jersey from them and it shows up damaged or never shows up at all. Um, but I, I'm not the person to talk to. I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever. I'm just throwing that in there to show people that yes, it is about 30 or $35 Canadian, including shipping uh, for one of these jerseys. If you're interested in purchasing one, um, go ahead. They take about four to six weeks to get out to you. So if you're looking at one for Christmas for someone, uh, you should probably order it now. If you're looking at the price of the retail jerseys and you're saying to yourself $250 plus tax or even $225 plus tax or even $180 plus tax when they do go on sale sometimes, it's a big difference in price between $180 plus tax or even $170 plus tax and the $30 jersey that you can get on DHgate. Some of you are saying, I can live with the differences, but if you're willing to shop around on Kijiji or Facebook Marketplace or even eBay, sometimes you can get gently used items or even ones brand new with the tags never even worn before. Someone got it as a gift or at an event or something like that, and they're just not interested in it. They don't use it. They just want a little bit of cash. Sometimes you can get them for 100 bucks flat. And then if you're thinking about it, $100 versus $30, uh, you know, maybe I might want to save up or wait a little bit. But again, if all you got is $30 or $35 to spend on one of these things, there's nothing wrong with that. Just make sure you don't pay more. But also, I've seen some people purchase them because they want to wear them on the ice playing shinny and they don't want to have to worry about it ripping or getting a stain or whatever on it. And that's perfectly fine. I can understand that. I know a video like this might not get as many views as one that I could do talking about the team or a specific player or a scenario or a signing or rumor, but it is an important one to make because the holiday season is right around the corner and you might have a hockey fan in your life that you're looking to buy a jersey for. And I should point out that the differences that you're seeing between the authentic jersey and the fake one from DHgate when you're looking at other teams, not just the Leafs, are pretty consistent. You're going to see the overall quality difference in the logo and the overall feel of the jersey with just about all of the teams. But if you're ever uncertain whether something is real or fake or a good deal or not, um, like I said, I've linked my Twitter in the description of this video. Feel free to reach out to me. My DMs are open. You can send me screenshots or the listing of itself, and I will be happy to sit down and look at it for a little bit and tell you whether or not it's fake or real or a good deal or not. So hopefully this video was helpful to some of you and you enjoyed seeing the differences. I'm waiting for a couple of things in the mail and then I will do a jersey collection video because I'm sure, as you can all tell, I do have a lot of them here in the background and they're all over the place. But make sure to like the video if you did like it and subscribe for more because more is always on the way. And guys, remember, make sure to get what you're actually paying for.